What's good, everybody? My name is Christic, and welcome back to Hive Swap. When we last left poor little Joey, she was looking for the basement so she can get the power back on so she does not meet the terrible fate of being eaten by a big serpenty black thing. Let's load it up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's check that out. The sound you've heard since you entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. The awful static is like nothing you've ever heard, and you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. You turn the radio off. Oh, cool. Okay. What's this? It's off, and it'll stay that way. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've cranked it all the way down to try to stop that awful noise. You crank it a little harder and, um, oops. You might have broken it, actually. You're okay with that. Can I do, what's this? Your babysitter has just really atrocious taste. You're only 14, and even you can tell that this is just really crummy. Yeah. It's often it'll yeah, it's often it'll stay that way. Here we go. Look. Hmm. The radio is clearly, although weirdly, functional, despite not being plugged in. You might be onto something here. Oh, my no batteries. Pop open. There they are. You open the battery compartment. Uh, get batteries. Jackpot! D-cells! You can never have too many batteries, and never in too many different sizes either. Sweet. Alright, let's see here. Uh, where else do I want to go? Try over here? Look, you're not saying you never have home-cooked meals. Your babysitter is a pretty good chef, even. It's just, well, none of you like doing dishes, and the nice thing about takeout is you could just eat it right out of the boxes and then throw away the boxes. Throw the boxes away. Let me fix this audio here real quick. There we go. All right. Of course, none of you really like taking out the trash, either. Uh, what's this? You're even out of dog food? Things really have gotten desperate. You guess you can't blame your babysitter for running off to the store for groceries at what was retrospectively the worst possible time. This. The Tube Highway, that's Jute's pet, uses to get around the house. You haven't seen it tonight, fortunately. Oh, it might be a ferret. I thought it was like a gerbil or something before, but I don't think it is. Look, the sink is full of dirty dishes. Someone should clean these up. Clean. No way. No way. You did them last time. It's Jude's turn now. You know what? After he completely ditched you for the treehouse earlier, maybe it's Jude's turn for quite some time. That, that is true. Can we go outside? Your sweet, loyal dog loves that flap. Jude used to like it too when he was younger. He still likes it. Look. There are monsters out there watching, working up an appetite. Okay. Uh, can we do this? Look. You visualize all the delicious items that could be in the cool embrace of the refrigerator. But are not. Snack? It's empty. Food shopping has become sporadic of late. It turns out, tipsy babysitters are fairly bad at responsibilities. Okay, can we... The power is off, and as such, your fax machine is basically useless. This is an unacceptable state of affairs. Oh, the hell you... Oh, this is back in 94, so yeah, I guess those would still exist. Look. 
This mummy is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He's been ever since your pa left him here months ago. Can we move him? Yeah, not a not a lot of chance of you being able to move Pharaoh Napoleon over here. All right. Okay. With the power out, you're going to need some kind of light source before setting foot down this broken neck trap. Oh, okay. Uh, let's take those and put them in there. There we go. Another electric device successfully powered through clever manipulation of resources in your immediate environment. You're on fire! With your flashlight fully functional and fit for fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low-light environments. And also to beat the bejesus out of whatever, out of any of these creeps that get too close. Although that's the last resort, of course. All right, let's go downstairs. Okay, let's see here. Jesus. Your pa brought this home as a souvenir. There's nobody inside it. It's kind of like a metaphor, you guess. Eh, you're not sure what, you're not sure you want to start down the road of analyzing your life as if it were a work of fiction. Because it is! It's a video game. Uh, more blue women. Pa loves his blue ladies' portraits so much, he keeps redundant backups scattered around. Because it's okay if you ignore something supposedly precious to you, as long as you're paying attention to something kinda similar in another location, right? You decide not to pull on the psychological thread because you have important work to do, and who needs that crappy old blowhard anyway? Holy crap, child. Let's turn this down a little bit. There we go. Much better. Okay. What else we got? I heart mustaches. Your babysitter sometimes cracks into your pa's special reserve, and she tends to do it down here, so you and Jude don't see. You aren't really sure what to say about it, or if you have ever have any business saying anything at all. Oh, Betty Crocker! It's the Batter Witch! Look, with your pa's strange affinity towards the Betty Crocker brand, Ever apparent, this musty old junk mainly consists of all sorts of cooking implements, ranging from the familiar to the enigmatic. En enigmatic. Really now, you could tell what a whisk is for, but some of this stuff looks downright unethical. It's also in your way. You can't reach the circuit breaker. God, why don't they just move junk pile? Try to move one box and the whole pile is liable to come tumbling down on you. You need to find some way to get them all moving at once. Shake them up somehow. A controlled tumble. That's the ticket. Alright, so I gotta tap dance again. Here. Here. There we go. Oh no! Circuit breaker. Okay, let's check out that circuit breaker. Look, you clear the box away with your fancy footwork. Now just give the breaker a tug or whatever. Flip the breaker. You flip the breaker and... Oh, poop sticks. Uh-oh. Just got that look of it's right behind me, isn't it? Yeah, oh, Jesus. Oh, this is cool. Strife! Okay, so let's do that. Gotta hand it to ya. Let your luck next time. And what if we shine it? Pirouette and boop. Pirouette or luck. Let's do the lunge. Check, please. Can we ballet? Graceful abscond! Prima abscond, Joe! 
Nice. Oh, it's Jude. Power's back on. You're doing our psyops of encroaching forces. Over. Give you back light only to snatch it away. Described, hypothetical, very cruel. Dealing with sick operators. Over. No, it was just me. Criminy Jude. That snake monster is down in the basement, by the way. I managed to get past him, but well, probably need to. Oh, but we'll probably need to deal with him at some point. Second encounter with said serpent, correct? Beast Wily. But sister already established superior wiliness attribute. Over. Hey, thanks. I think. Trophy room should be trivial obstacle. Over. Wait, what? At a key, Joey. Eyes on the prize. Keep me in the loop. Over and out. Aw, Jude. You silly biscuit. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Yes, in here. Oh! Strife! Alright, let's tap dance it. Tapetizer! Main roars. Jaws ready for this. No, oh. <laughs> Jaws ready for this. Do do do. Please excuse me. Oh! Chew to tango! Biter next time. Oh, I love these. They're like little puns. So this is what was blocking the door. He looks hungry. Oh! Well, when the hell did I get those? Opening course! Flictricize on the prize. Do I just keep feeding him? Anyone for seconds? Ooh. Oh, it turned into a little bitey thing. Ah, uh, do I do that? Tapetizer. Main roar. Jaw ready for this? Oh. That's what I clicked. I did that already. Fetch! Yeah, footstool with teeth. Nice! Alright! Monster inflicted death scene averted. You are unbelievably stressed out right now! Congratulations! You have ascended to rung two. Attained rank of tail wagging Tyro. Max HP increased by 12, muscle increased by 7. Congratulations! You've ascended to rung 3! Attack rank. Oh, attained rank of Minute Mammal Mender. Dexterity increased by 2. Grace increased by 6. Leverage increased by 5. Congratulations! You've ascended to rung 4. Attained rank of Peppy Patterer. Mastered Noggin Bob. Hubris increased by 4. And Courtesy decreased by 2. Wow, I got a couple levels out of that one. Oh, this is so good. So, where is the key? In his desk or something? Would never leave critical item in such an obvious location over. Okay, but like, where did you leave it? I just had to lure a hungry monster out of here with treats, and I'm not sure how much time f for brother-sister conspiracy capers before it comes back. 
If room compromise can't discuss countermeasures over unsecured line, utilize puzzler skill set over puzzler skill set. Okay, a little weird. Ugh, fine. Call back if assistance required. Over and out. This is exactly what kind of thing you wish wasn't in your house. Why couldn't your pa just leave their regular eyes in? And also, more importantly, leave their heads attached to their body? You'd like to put something in those sockets, but what? And also, wait, why do you want to do that so much? <laughs> That's weird. Okay. As if being dead weren't bad enough, your pa replaced his eyes with some creepy glass orbs. The light refracted in their fat, fauceted stare gives you the creeps. But are you crazy? Or is there some light reflecting off his antler too? Maybe it bears closer examination. Pull. Whoa! Uh, Jude? I can't make heads or tails of this thing. What thing? Over. Uh, that thing right there on the shelf. What the hell is that? I turned on the laser, but that's it? Nothing else is happening. Thought you were a puzzle, master. Was wrong, it seems. Over. Hold on. Over. Believe this calls for... Burns. McGruff crime dog experiences trouble? Unbelievable. Over. Wait. Disregard previous burn. Superior burn formulated. Ace Ventura pet detective? Please respond if ice required. Over. Nice try, dork. Maybe if you weren't a real tactician, you'd manage to get your burns out on the first try, instead of requesting do-overs. Pride wounded but unable to protest. Have been informed, mildly continuous banter. Cornerstone of squad camaraderie. Over. Uh, yeah. Anyway, how am I supposed to solve this thing? This clearly a puzzle thing that cries out to be solved. Use marbles, over. Um, thinking as hard as I can, you know I like puzzles. I wouldn't be asking if it weren't an emergency. Actual marbles, over. What are you talking about? Trivial, really, over. What marbles? I don't have any marbles. You don't? None? Nearby? Over? No! Oops. Over. Aw, oh, Jude, what did you do? Aw, oh, it switched to him! You are now Jude Harley. And though tonight is apparently the night you've been preparing for, laying so many preparations and countermeasures, and countermeasures... counter countermeasures against... It would seem you made a rare tactical blunder. The marbles that Joey needs to disengage your strategic defense globe are here in your treehouse. Time to call in the Lone Gunbirds. Oh, look at him! He's like a little old man. What's this? Look. You're probably the only kid in school that owns one of these babies. What if those kids get stranded in the middle of the ocean? And joke's on them until they starve and die. Okay. Look. The perfect place to store your flares. Well, some of them. It's also where you keep your beeper, but you really don't want to get into that right now. Can I equip? Oh, I can. Equipped. The chamber is empty because you observe proper flare gun safety protocols. Good boy, Jude. But maybe you should load it because you've also observed some scary stuff this evening. Okay. This. You keep smashing geodes in case they're secretly alien eggs. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And if one is, well, you already have the hammer in your hand, won't you? True. You dropped your favorite pair of binoculars when you were, uh, retreating from the big serpent. These are actually your secondary auxiliary binoculars, your Oxnox for short. Oh, you're such a dork. 12 US Congress members suspended of cult activity. <laughs> Unnatural fog. Your careful records of the activity of mysterious figures you often see prowling around in the woods. Joey didn't buy it, but the sudden influx of monsters may have changed her stance. What's this? Your careful records of the activity of the mysterious figures are often see oh you often see prowling around in the woods. Joey didn't buy it, but the sudden inf oh, okay that's the same thing. Oh Joey's calling. Oh yeah I'll I'll get to her. Want to look around? Only a few of these are actually liquids, and unfortunately, those are also the ones whose contents you don't precisely exactly a hundred percent remember. With total certainty, you're not saying some of them are yearn, but you're not saying none of them are yearn. Oh, Jude, really? What's this? Oh, okay. You've already committed this crucial intelligent crucial oh yeah, intelligence to memory. But a truly great field commander keeps even better records. Yeah. Okay. Here. Oh, okay. Look at that nice empty pouch. You sure could put some stuff in that pouch. You put a red marble in the pouch. Um, okay. You drop a green marble in the pouch. The carry pigeon couldn't possibly carry that much weight. Better stick with two marbles. Oh. oh okay, I was just gonna give her all of them. You know, hold on. Oh, holy crap, I did it right! Okay, cool. Uh, is there anything? Look. Your tactical escape hatch allows ingress and egress from your amazing treehouse. When the heat is on from the government and you need to send an encrypted message while staying off the grid, you entrust it to one of your trained carrier pigeons. The Lone Gunbirds. You survey the troops. There's Langley, Byers, and of course, Frohike. <laughs> He's your favorite. Dear sweet Frohike, how you adore him. You cherish the wind he flaps. He's in government. Okay, okay, let's talk to Joey. Tactical error. Consolidated all marbles are here in Treehouse to prevent attic key from falling in the wrong hands. Over. Additionally, forgot about doing that over. No cause for concern. Putting top agent on it. Over. Wait, who? Did you get in touch with one of your friends, or...? Oh god. You mean one of your pigeons, don't you? Over and out! Oh. Yeah, 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 okay. A standard camping lantern. Your uses of the of it are hardly standard, you think. More like outstandard, i.e. great. Alright, well let's look out here. Oh! Look at these monsters! No eyes, no weapons, only the most rudimentary of squad-based tactical maneuvers. This is a diversionary feint by an expendable, expendable vanguard if you've ever seen one. There she blows, Harley Manor. Well, maybe only half Harley Manor since Joey disowned the name in favor of your mother's. Thankfully, this angle shields you from the hateful gaze of Joey's Bubsy poster. There she blows. Oh, Harley Manor, okay. There, Harley Manor. No eyes. The 
puppy castle seems fortified for the moment and that the pups spent some time adding extra defense implements this summer. They are holding up nicely. Oh, that's, ah, uh, that's weird. Okay, well, let's go back. Do I? Oh, okay, okay, here we go. Get pouch. You take the pouch with red and green marbles. I thought I already had it. Uh... <laughs> oh, look at him go! Go, buddy, go! No! <gasps> oh my god! Sorry for hold up. Unbelievable. Tragic disaster. Over. Did you lose something else? Must... <sighs> Soldier on making second attempt now. Over. Uh, all right. Are you sure you're... Over. Over and fro hike. Oh. You take another patch from the drawer and load it with another red and another green marble. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, <laughs> the music gets a little sadder as it goes. This is it. This is the one. Come on. What? Bastard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Are you all right? Betrayal. Over. Abandonment. Over. The lowest, vilest, cowardice over. Um, well... Can't even communicate true degree of outrage over. Likely to jeopardize mission if emotion not suppressed over. Uh... Incoming over and out. Oh, look how sad he is now. Let's get another marble. Your hands are definitely not shaking as you pluck two more marbles from their safe, cozy compartments in the drawer and drop them into the depths of the pouch, just waiting. Leathery maw. Well, here we go again. <laughs> oh, the music sounds so sad. There you go. Come on, you can do it. Yeah! He did it! Good boy! <laughs> Success! Jeez, I'm crow buyers, my boy, so brave, so true, so great, over. Are you actually just point blank losing your mind now? It would maybe be kind of a relief after years of buildup, but you could have picked up a better night for it. Mission accomplished. Buyer's champion of champions waiting for you in the kitchen. Over. Why? Over. Oh, Buyer's has marbles required to acquire key. Over. All right. I guess that sort of makes sense. New development. Buyers being menaced. Please hurry. Over. Wait. Okay. Uh, I'm on it. Hurry, please, Joey. He's all I have left. Over and out. <laughs> all right. Well, we got a lot done in that one. Oh, Jesus. Fro hike. Curse you, Langley. May you rotten bird hell. And then Byers, the good one. Oh, my boy Byers made it all the way through. All right, you know what? We're going to leave it right there. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, smash that like button. And I will see you in the next one.